You know, people often ask me, what is the best uh, rep range to use? What are the different, uh, you know, should I use machines? Should I use dumbbells? Uh, should I do three sets? Should I do 10 sets? Or should I do two sets? They have no clue. Should Is, is uh, form absolutely important? And can you cheat sometimes? And it's never the question uh, that's going to lead to real results. And the reason is because they're not even in the right ballpark. It's uh, lifting, I would say, is maybe, maybe 10% of the ball game. And most of that is being dedicated to make sure you go when you're supposed to go. The other aspect is sleep. That's important. But the vast majority of your gains and how you're going to look in the gym is going to come from nutrition. Every cell in your body six months from now is going to be replaced by what you are eating now. Keep that in mind. So it's a slow process. It's six months generally to replace almost all or all of the cells in your body with what you're eating today. But if you're getting insufficient protein or insufficient decent protein, you're not going to build the muscle you need to build. If you are taking in too many calories, then you're not going to get lean enough for other people to notice. And trust me, uh, the biggest thing you will get comments on is when you get ripped. Not how big you are. I've been absolutely huge, but not ripped. Hardly anybody says the thing. As soon as you start to get ripped, that's when everybody starts talking and uh, asking you, uh, you know, how you did it and good job. And, uh, you know, what's funny is uh, about 90% at least of the comments you're going to get are not from women. You want to get it from women, but you're not going to get it from women. Until you start to get ripped, then the women will start, uh, they'll ask you, uh, when are you going to start competing or are you competing? And uh, how did you get so lean and things like that? I've, I've never had so many women comment until after I got ripped. And uh, that all comes down to nutrition. Doesn't matter if you're going to run on the treadmill for four hours a day. Uh, that's all bogus. You know, do that for, uh, for heart conditioning. But if you're depending on that to lose body fat, no, you need to get your nutrition right first. And if that means that you're taking in too many calories and, you know, if you have excess body fat, you don't have to eat in excess to bulk. Your body can use the energy from the fat that it's already on your body to be able to convert that into muscle growth to use for protein synthesis. So you can actually lose body fat and gain muscle at the same time. People will say, oh, that's impossible. I've been doing it for years, for years. Now, it's hard to be in a calorie deficit, not have that much body fat like where I am now and gain muscle. That's extremely difficult. That's when you might have to start jumping up your calories a little bit. But if you're not in that position, don't even think about it yet. Get your calories under the control you need them to get to. Uh, you can use calories to get an idea uh, how to determine if you're in a calorie surplus or not. But the best thing to do is... Uh, and I know it's a pain, but for a week, try to keep track of all the calories and it won't be perfect. Keep track of all the calories. It doesn't matter where it comes from. I don't care if the calories come from fat, protein, carbs, doesn't matter. Just keep track of them for a week and take your body weight. Same time every morning, take your body weight and see how it fluctuates. If you're going up, then you're taking in too many calories. And heck, look at your body. You know if you're taking in too many calories. You can skip that step if you want and just start consciously cutting down until you stop gaining weight. But don't take one or two days. You need to average out a week or two and see how you are changing to know if you're eating too much. We all get into uh, different ways to get into a calorie deficit where it's not hard. Some people can't give up certain foods uh, for any length of time. They fall right off the wagon, they're right back where they were. You have to find something that works for you. Uh, for me, intermittent fasting or OMAD one meal a day, that's been perfect for me. And we'll get into that. But uh, nutrition, that's the, that's the, the question everybody needs to ask. And... They need to ask it about themselves. Is my 
nutrition on point. And yes, you do have to have quality protein and things like that. But uh, for most of us, it's in today's world, it's we need to control the fat. We need to get that under control first. So keep uh, keep in touch and I'll be giving more updates and more tips and we'll start honing in on what is best for you so that you can get the body that you ultimately want. Take care.